Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the battery on your MacBook, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, basically any MacBook from the year 2006 and above. I think that's from where it works, uh, this recalibration thing. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to recalibrate or some people just say calibrate, calibrate the battery sensor on the MacBook to get better battery system information readings. So when you go to system, system information in settings, you can see the battery um, readings, the battery health, the total milliamp hour charge, uh, the capacity. Uh, usually uh, when, when the laptop is new, you'll get your full milliamp hour charge capacity. But over time it reduces and to get an accurate reading for all of those, you have to calibrate your battery. So then you get accurate readings for the battery health and also it helps maintain battery uh, life and helps prolong your battery's life. Uh, this is basically like I said calibrating the battery sensor that's built into the I think it's a part of the battery itself and this is how you're going to do it first of all you're going to plug in your MacBook and charge it fully uh, the you obviously must be knowing that uh, to fully charge the battery uh, you can see the green light is on that means the battery is fully charged the MagSafe connector light the green light is on then after it fully charges leave it on for another around two to three hours uh, Two to three hours would be fine. Uh, I've left it more than two to three hours. I probably about four hours more than after it was fully charged. Uh, this is a MacBook Pro mid-2014 Retina. But it, like I said, it works on all MacBooks. Uh, so fully charge it and leave it for two hours extra. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take uh, the charger out and you're going to use it as normal. Just use it as normal as you normally do. And what you're going to do after that is when the battery comes to die, when like when it's dying, uh, it'll give you all these warnings saying battery low, battery low, battery low, and all that stuff. Let it sleep on its own. Just use it until the battery entirely drains. Use it on uh, till it drains and it'll automatically go into sleep mode. Okay, so now at 5% battery, we get this warning. Uh, this is the low battery warning. So at this point, you're going to want to save any progress you've been doing, any iMovie rendering or uh, Word sheet or Microsoft PowerPoint or whatever you've been doing. I urge you to save it. There is an auto save feature when the Mac, when the Mac automatically shuts off uh, and goes to sleep mode. There's an auto save feature, but just as a precaution, see if it's important work, just save it uh, manually. So let's wait till the battery entirely shuts off. I believe it shuts off at 3%. The Mac will go into sleep mode and then let's continue with the video from there. So just wait till it goes into sleep mode by itself. Do something unimportant. Listen to music or something. Don't do anything important up to now. Just listen to music and let's continue with the video once the Mac has shut off. Okay, so now the battery, I mean, the laptop has gone into sleep mode. Uh, I was wrong about it being earlier uh, that the battery uh, shut, the, the laptop shuts off at 3%. It actually doesn't shut off at 3%. It actually drops to 0% and stays about 5 minutes on 0% and then shuts off. So now it's in sleep mode. Don't do anything. All you got to do next is keep it for 5 hours minimum. Keep it for 5 hours minimum in sleep mode. Just don't do anything with it. Uh, just leave it like this for 5 hours minimum. I'd recommend 6 hours. And after uh, the 5 hours is up, you're going to plug in the charger and you're going to charge it for uh, till the battery is full again. That's roughly about 4 hours. But uh, charge it for 4 hours and then leave it on the charger for another 1 hour. Just uh, for the sake, uh, just for latency, leave the charger on for another 1 hour. And then you're good to go. Then you'll get more uh, accurate readings from the battery, better battery timing. Uh, the accurate milliamp average, that's what I want to see. Uh, accurate mi milliamp average, the timing and so on. All your battery information will be up to date and it will be accurate. So, like again, ch leave it for 5 hours on sleep mode. Then charge it fully and leave it for 1 hour on the charge and then you're good to go. So, I'll continue this video from that point. Okay, so it has been roughly around 5 hours since the battery uh, has been fully charged. I mean, uh, it charged within 4 hours. And I just kept it, like I said, for one hour extra for latency. And I'm going to take it off. So now you're ready to go and read uh, all the battery information and uh, everything regarding the battery, battery health, uh, milliamp hour, full charge milliamp hour age, uh, and so on. Because uh, now everything will be more accurate. The readings will be more accurate after this calibration. And just a recap of what I did and what you have to do to do this again. First, uh, fully charge your battery. 
uh, keep it for an extra two hours on the charger while it's fully charged then use it as normal uh, I'd recommend not offing it in between uh, actually you shouldn't do that uh, I ac accidentally did that once so I'll have to do it again later don't it don't off it in between use it throughout till the battery be becomes zero and dies then after the battery becomes zero and dies um, I'm sorry goes into sleep mode uh, then leave it for five hours on sleep mode and then give it a full charge again um, and keep it on for, keep it on for one hour for again for latency and then you're ready to check your battery uh, status again so thanks for watching don't forget to like this video share it with your friends and subscribe thanks